Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a cute crop top which is made only using triple crochet, triple crochet, single crochet and frank stitch. So as a beginner, this will be the best option to choose. Here you can see we have used only rows of double crochet, triple crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, double crochet, triple crochet and the sleeves are made of granny stitch which is three double crochet in the same stitch. So basically this top contains only double crochet, triple crochet, if necessary single crochet. So let's begin. First you need to have the body measurement. In the sense you should measure the width of the body till where you require the top. After measuring do that many number of chains in the beginning that will be your foundation. As you all know chain is just first have a slip knot yarn like this if you want still slow detailed video it's there in our channel you can just refer to it a slip knot then chain as much inches you require that is the width of your required top or you can even take a top a tank top as a reference and just measure it and do the chain. Chain is just yarn over and insert your hook yarn over, insert your hook yarn over, insert your hook yarn over. This is the chain stitch you need to do. This would be the foundation. You should do how much you require. The complete, this complete round you must complete it. After that, the first row I have crocheted here is a double crochet. As you all know, double crochet it's very easiest stitch. That is nothing but yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through first two loops, and then pull through the next two loops. This is the double crochet. Now you should continue doing this double crochet throughout the row, throughout the number of chains you've read. For example, if you have crocheted. 90 chains in the first row there must be 90 double crochets in the second row as well next again have done a double crochet this should also be equal to the amount of double crochet you do here so basically you'll be having two rows of double crochet together next for the third row i've gone to do triple crochet which is still more simple and a longer stitch triple crochet it's just yarn over twice that is in double crochet you'll have yarn over only once but in triple crochet you'll yarn over twice then you have to insert your hook into the chain yarn over you'll have one two three four loops on the hook in which you'll pull through the first two then again you'll have three loops remaining pull through two loops again two loops remaining pull through two and then you're done with the triple crochet stitch this is a triple crochet stitch and that has been done throughout the row for continuously three rows this is not this is not strict or recommended that you must follow these zones you can repeat double crochet itself or a triple crochet or a complete triple crochet top or a double crochet triple crochet double crochet triple crochet top it is left to you as a beginner you can do whatever you want Nobody would restrict that as it is your own top. Okay, next here I have changed my color after the three rows. Here this would be the length of your top. You need to measure it. Next, after doing three continuous rows of triple crochet, I have gone to change the color to make it a, make it look a bit attractive. Nothing more than that. So now if you want to know how to change the color, let me show you. First have a slip knot. Then chain as many required. It's just have a thread of new color. Just chain, join it, chain, that gives a new color, 
if you want to hide this half here have done double crochet that is yarn over insert your hook then here to hide it have it under it so that when you yarn over that gets stuck in such a way that is yarn over insert your hook you'll have to get it through this above that that's it i've changed my color here i've done two rows of double crochet again triple crochet double crochet double crochets only double crochet till here then have done a decrease stitch which is still more easier a decrease stitch is nothing but yarn over insert your hook yarn over but don't pull through again insert your hook to the yarn over and insert your hook to the next stitch now pull two through then two then the two you will have a decrease stitch here then throughout you need to continue only a normal double crochet then when you reach to the last two stitch again you have to repeat this decrease so that you get this shape and it should continue until how many rows you require the length of the top after that you'll be done with this complete portion just double crochet double crochet double crochet triple crochet firstly is first you have to measure from where or at what distance your sleeves must reside after that this is very simple stitch and it looks cute for the top sleeves so come let's have a look of how it is done three double crochet skip two chains three double crochet skip skip two three skip two like that for the last stitch you have to make only a single double crochet not two three double crochet in the next row chain three and turn your work next row chain only where there is space only in the chain space you need to do three double crochet the last it is again a single double crochet again chain three turn over and this continues until where you require the sleeve this is completely based on you so here's an easy cute top that you have crocheted now If you want to know how to crochet these two rows together, there is a video. Just check out. I'll put it in the description. This is the top that we have crocheted, and it's done. And then it's done. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe, and do support us. Follow for more such tutorials. Then happy crocheting.